There are so many molecules surrounding us in our daily life. Each of these molecules can be differentiated by using polarity. But what is polarity? So welcome back to Siri Pensyarah Kimia Awak. So in this video, I am going to talk about polarity. So to further understand polarity, there are two concepts that we need to know. So the first one is dipole moment. Dipole moment is a measure of the polarity of a chemical bond between two atoms in a molecule. Dipole moment, which is represented by letter mu, is defined as the product of the magnitude of the charge and the distance that separates the center of positive and the negative charge. If mu does not equal to zero, thus it is a polar molecule. But when mu is equal to zero, then it is a non-polar molecule. The next concept that we need to know is bond dipole. Bond dipole is a vector quantity since it has both magnitude and direction. It is going to be an arrow with a positive on one end. Bond dipole will always point towards the more electronegative atom. Okay, so there are three steps that can be used to determine the polarity of a molecule. So the first one is use electronegativity value to predict the bond dipole. Second, use the VSEPR method to predict the molecular shape. And the last one, form the molecular shape, determine whether bond dipole can cancel each other to give a polar or non-polar molecule. Okay, so now let's go to a few examples. Okay, so here we have a hydrogen bromide, HBr. So, in hydrogen bromide, we have hydrogen and bromine atom. So, based from electronegativity, we know that bromine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So, we will have a bond dipole towards bromine. So, since the shape is unsymmetrical, so it will produce a resultant dipole. So from here, we can deduce that in HBr, each bond is a polar bond. So the bonds are arranged unsymmetrically, hence bond dipole do not cancel each other. Therefore, dipole moment does not equal to zero, so HBr is the polar molecule. Okay, so now look at another example. So here is carbon tetrachloride, CCl4. So given is the structure of carbon tetrachloride, so we have carbon at the center and chlorine at the terminal. Based from electronegativity, we know that chlorine is more electronegative compared to carbon. So chlorine will have a partially negative charge and the carbon will have a partially positive charge. So bond dipole will point towards chlorine. Okay, so based from this structure, we know the arrangement is symmetrical. So there will be no resultant dipole produced. So in CCL4, each bond is a polar bond. So the bond are arranged symmetrically. Thus, bond dipole will cancel each other. So dipole moment is equal to zero. So it is a non-polar molecule. Okay, so I hope you guys understand the concept of polarity and how to differentiate between polar and non-polar. So that's all for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Okay, see you next time. Bye.